kind of. Brenna yeah. killed someone. <laughs> Alright, um, let's hit continue. So Mion's a DJ, Rena's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Satsuko's 40. And Rika's... Bit. <laughs> Rika's the petter. Yeah. Rika. Rika is unconcerned with death. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Maybe Rika's the murderer. How could Rika That'd be a, a murderer? murderer. <laughs> 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 That'd be an interesting twist. Are we not gonna get any more parent voices? Big sad? <laughs> Thank god. <laughs> oh yeah. A Colonel Randy? Ah, of course. That's right up her alley. Oh, Rika is a mass murderer. <laughs> Why do you think this town has so little residents? It used to be a booming city. I understand her wanting to take home Satsuko and Rika-chan. But I can't understand the Colonel Randy. What's so good about a 40... 4... 40 eyed geezer? I was got a, a lot of glasses. Yeah. What's so good about that 4 eyed geezer? It's Colonel freaking Se- I mean, Randy! <laughs> Probably better to hear it from Rena, don't you think? She'll probably just say because it's just so cute, though. Does Rena often go to the construction site to hunt for treasure? And murder people? <laughs> Every now and then she says she's going to have a look. But... A girl her age rummaging around in garbage is well. If Rika or er, if I enjoy it, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. I need to grab something. All right. Whoop. Whoops. You're what? fine. Editor, put something entertaining here. An entire episode of Pokemon Heart Gold plays. Wait, what? If Rina enjoys it, then I think it's fine. What were they doing over there? Damn construction? <laughs> you have been bugging me since yesterday. It's like, like an inch I couldn't scratch. <laughs> it was cancelled a long time ago. Around the time when Rena murdered that guy. <laughs> Everyone gathered together and fought against it. Hearing an ominous word like fought come from Rika's mouth startled me. That's right. It was unbelievable. They said Hinamizawa would be sunk into the reservoir and we had no say in the matter. So, I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded. I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. I didn't keep you, did I? Did I? My deepest apologies, Keiji-san. It took me a while to powder my nose. You mean that tiny little line on your face? That's <laughs> <laughs> not a nose. Powder my nose. Satsuko. Wait to use the can until you really have to go. It's a lot easier since it's juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> eek. Eek. <laughs> How dare you speak that way of a meaning of unparalleled beauty such as myself. <laughs> I'm like 10 years old. No, you're 40. 
If Satoko was re really was a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. Now then, gentlemen, in accordance to the rules of our society, I bring a point to discussion. Keiichi Mebarakan wishes to be included as a member in our activities. What say you? No. <laughs> Rena has no objection. I didn't realize you said no. <laughs> Oh ho ho! <laughs> I wonder if the likes of this peasant is up to the task. Me and Satko both approve. The three that Mia. Oh, what I do? <laughs> <laughs> the three that Mia had acquired voiced their approval. I did no such thing. <laughs> A unanimous decision. Congratulations, Keiichi Marabarika. I thought it said I'd peasant you. <laughs> I present you the honor of being allowed to take the entrance exam for our club. Start from the beginning. I didn't say I would join. What club is this? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Well, it's a DJ, I mean. Oh, uh, uh, it's a, well, you'll see, I'll uh, explain. DJ. I gotta come up with a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what is this clip? Help, oh, Rena! <laughs> Rena! It's say a something Rena Club! What? <laughs> <laughs> what our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities under different sets of rules, such as DJing and only DJing and nothing but DJing. It's really a DJing club. <laughs> Sometimes they're in your favor, such as sweet tunes. Sometimes they work against you, such as not so sweet tunes. <laughs> or you just suck at DJing. Hey, that's not correct. <laughs> I'm pretty weak, so I prefer if you didn't single me, put me out. Let's try to get along. You're so naive, Rena. I think not. <laughs> <laughs> I think she killed someone. The law of the jungle is survival of the fittest. This was starting to sound a bit sketchy. So what kind of club was it? A murder club. <laughs> To sum it up, it's a club where we play games together. Like Riga murdering. <laughs> Riga-chan was the only one that answered my question with a pertinent response. Fuck is that word? I have no idea. Hey, editor, put the definition of that word from Google. <laughs> more, more Google dictionary, please. Yeah. Okay, thanks. So basically, this club Mion's put, put me on hobby of collecting games to use by playing the various games that Mion had hoarded every day. It seemed that, depending on the day, there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for the person who finished in the last place. I'll make this clear right now. We aren't playing house here. You should treat each win or loss as if your life depends on it, alright? Is that what happened with Rena? The person just lost and Rena killed them? <laughs> 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 What's wrong with just having fun? Don't make it sound so crazy. See, we wouldn't have murdered that guy. <laughs> I mean, the first rule of our society. Aim for only first place. I mean, aim only for first place. Going at, going at it half-assed. Just because it's a game is not a laugh. Oh god. <laughs> Rule number two in our society. <laughs> I can't get over a voice, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason, you are obligated to make all possible efforts. 
the way Satsuko said it. Wait, killing what? a man. Nah. <laughs> the way Satsuko said it. It sounded like she was saying, use any means necessary. Oh, you know, I just killed the guy so I could win. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I will do my best too. I'm pretty weak, but I'm trying my best. You already said that. I say I'm pretty weak, so I don't. I'm not suspected of murder. <laughs> I knew what they were trying to say. In a game where everyone is aiming to be the top for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike to just play for fun. All right, then I, too, will go all out. With that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. A word of warning, Chan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so perfect! <laughs> Everything is falling into place. Rena can get pretty nasty, like, you know, killing a man. <laughs> This initiation looks like it's going to be rough. Mian began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room. They have the games here at the school? Well, it's the club equipment, so I guess that's fine. Complicated games would put K-Chan at a disadvantage. She's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> So today, we'll play a game that you should be familiar with. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> How about a standard card game then? Like Old Bachelor. What the fuck is Old Bachelor? <laughs> I don't know. Old maid? Might but be. Like, they're all girls, so they call it something different? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. can't really get into it unless there's a penalty. This time, the loser will be sentenced to death. I mean, for <laughs> having your face drawn on, what do you think? I like murder better, <laughs> says Rena. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, it won't be a permanent marker, right? Right? Permanent? She must have drawn her faces with a permanent marker? That is perfect! <laughs> Satoko cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch at the thought of uh, such a uh, severe penalty. It seemed like she was roaring to go. If, she, if it's going to be like this, then I can't lose either. Then I'll just cut the deck and start dealing. Old Bachelor is pretty much the same as Old Maid. Yeah. I fucking call it! <laughs> There's only one difference. There's no Joker. In its place, one card is pulled out to start. Meaning, there, there will be one card without a match left over at the end. You don't know which card will end up being the Joker. It's a pretty thrilling game. Oh, shit! Oh, we getting intense, boys! Here we go! <laughs> I'll take the card out now. Mion took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. Well, it'll be pretty obvious in the end game. No way to tell at the start. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. They compared their cards to the one face down. All the while, gouging, uh, gouging each other's reactions. Gauging. It was as if they could see what the face-down card was. No, it couldn't be. The so deck fucking. Is... <laughs> this deck is pretty worn out. No way. Can everyone tell by the scratches what the card on the table is? Jamming out over here. <laughs> Remember, the second rule of our society. Ignore the music playing in the background. I don't know where the fuck it came from. But <laughs> it's yeah. coming from the ceiling. KG, son, must. 
Gage is going to try his hardest to win as well. Even though we know you're going to lose. The number of cards are quite unique. Gage could much should be able to remember them pretty quickly. She said that so matter-of-factly. You better win or I'll kill you. <laughs> Suits me fine. Don't think a little thing like that can Hello. be your crutch. Huh? <laughs> Don't think a little thing like that can be your crutch. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious that I was at a disadvantage. After all, they'd gone so far as to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card. This wasn't a simple game of old bachelor. If this was a test, then they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them! Bring it! I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you at your own game. That baseless, that baseless confidence would soon be crushed. Kick, kick, kick. How about I tell you your hands starting from the right? Three, four, nine, jack, queen. Blah! By the way, the bachelor is the jack of diamonds. Ah! I can tell what they are even if you switch them around. I am out. Ugh. I thought I was prepared, but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming. D demons, you're all demons. Rena isn't a demon, are you? Oh, she's the biggest demon. Yeah. This is sorry, Keiichi, but it's time for me to kill you. <laughs> this is no. <laughs> that was perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a three of hearts, isn't it? I'm out. <laughs> Not even a hint of mercy. Rena, even Rikachan. These club activities weren't to be trifled with, and alumnus of this club would definitely survive. And alumnus. A, a what? Alumnus. Alumnus of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire like class- What? You said like murdering someone. <laughs> if our entire class had de self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into the death- into a death match on a deserted island. Oh. These g these guys would probably take it like fish to water. I could already picture their joy as they hunt down each of their classmates, especially Retta. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a lowest point system. The order itself dictates the point. Whoever has the lowest point total wins. Since KT finished last, he has five points. There's already a five marked down on my scoreboard. I, I think it's unfair to KT even if we don't use a new deck. It's fine, it's fine. Kachan is a man after all. <laughs> yeah, that's total reasoning to cheat. What the fuck difference does that have? Yeah! <laughs> Rid of Leon pretty easily if you just moving her. Your mic That's though. Pretty easy though. Big oof. He can turn the table the off the stack against him, right? Ah, yes. Turn <laughs> tables. <laughs> <laughs> it's fitting to for a lovely lonely peasant to a Stamp her home and soak their pillow in tears, don't you think? Shut your Damn. mouth! Damn! <laughs> Shut your mouth, Sotico! A petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontrained, uncontainable frustration. What? 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 <laughs> it was weak chance. Is she angry or something? Frustrated. Keep on fighting! Yeah! Thanks to Rika-chan's words of encouragement, I was able to calm down. You need to calm down, especially when you're cornered. 
That's the power I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, Keiji Maribara. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Rena said, several of the cards have their own distinct markings, making them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. I don't think so, but... <laughs> think about what you can do in this situation. 52 combinations. <laughs> Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. Whoa, great, Cage Cutting, just like that! I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands or other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. The one with the ripped corner should be the five. And I'm out. I couldn't let any of those precious, hi precious hints slip by me. All information is a weapon. Then it was my turn. Satoko fanned out her cards for me. You see, I want the seven. Is the is it this one? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder about that. You won't know unless you take it. There was a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she didn't want it taken. That kind of expression. I won't let that momentary lapse slip by me. I know. It's this one. Got it. Seven of spades. A cheer of ooh rang out. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> the seven should be the hardest one to tell apart of all the apart. It wasn't from memorizing the markings. The slight changes in her expression as I was selecting the, a card were enough. Can't hide it from me, K Chan. This mark means the two of diamonds. I'm the one who put the marks on them, after all. <laughs> ah, shit. What? <laughs> she was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was, too. Whoa, it's rare that Mi-chan gets a card wrong. No. No. Okay, chan Could it be you? They told them apart by different marks. That so mark was a nail on. scratch. Yeah. So I put a new one on it. Mm hmm. Big brain. <laughs> Are you? S oh yeah, forgot. Not her voice. Are you saying to <laughs> disguise it as the two of diamonds? What? What an impressive show of wit. Her voice is just ever changing and flowing through different versions <laughs> and deep voices I can come up with. <laughs> Katie landed a clean hit. Clap, clap, clap. My That's ears. great, Cage Cun. That was an incredible match, you know. You know. Having defeated the forerunner, Mion, my brilliant battle left me ecstatic. But by total points, it was already set in stone that Mion would win, and I would finish last. Well, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed haughtily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on Mion's nerves. Well, I'm going to end up the loser, but I'm satisfied with one-upping Mion at the end. Blah! <laughs> that should be the pro proverbial slap in the face of the Mion to Mion, who is at the top already and ensured vi victory. <laughs> Even if K Chan gets first place this round, he'll still end up last place overall. Don't you hate that? Of course I do. Let's have a duel. One chain. If you win, then we'll swap first and last place. How about it? You up for it? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without goading her into it. Don't know what that word is either. Yeah. Hey, editor, put that up there. <laughs> More dictionary. Yeah. One chance, you say. Let me hear the rules. Mion discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker card that was on the table. 
then shuffled the resulting hand behind her back. Card in my right, or the card in my left? If k Tong can guess which hand the joke is in, then he wins. When you turned around just now, you didn't pull out the joker, did you? If you lose, I'll show you the card in the other hand. That okay? The other three gulped nervously at this unexpected turn of events. <laughs> gulp. Satsuko gulp. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You've got it. Mion grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I needed to inspect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Which one, I wonder if each can... Be careful! Yeah, of course. This is my chance for a big comeback. Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It wasn't one I had seen before. Ah. Uh. That card is. I didn't let that bit from Satsuko slip by me. Mion, collect her, t collect her tongue. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from the small number that I had that I had memorized. I didn't know what the left card was, but I could tell from Satsuko's reaction that the card had already appeared during the game. Since it had already appeared before, it meant that it definitely wasn't the Joker. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tom thinks it's the one on the right. Will you choose that one then? Will you? The left card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to de to declare that the card to the right was the Joker. Even without Meon's taunting, the one on the right was the most suspicious. Suspicious. But it wasn't a bit too rash to decide based solely on Satsuko's reaction. More carefully. That. I remember now. That mark. The left card. No doubt about it. The seven of clubs. Hmm. It's the seven of clubs, I see. I've won. The card on the left was the seven of clubs. So that meant the card on the right was the Joker. And then, just before my hand touched the card, I froze. Make up your mind! Oh, <laughs> no, it's, she doesn't even have it. I would expect no less from you. There was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt. Right before I continued, the right card was the Joker. Huh? What could Keiji son possibly be saying? I mean, the left one is. Shh. Ah. Uh, what makes you so certain that the right one isn't the Joker, Keiji? Me on let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. I don't know what the card on the right could be, but I know that the one on the left is the Seven of Clubs. Then, doesn't that leave the right one as the Joker? No, she's a fucking insolent prick and doesn't have them. <laughs> one of them has to be the Joker, right? Nope. Nope, nope not at all. Yeah. <laughs> You're so naive, Keiichi. <laughs> One of those is the Joker, right? Keiichi has good intent intuition. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Rikachan, what do you mean by... You must have said it sarcastically. No. So basically, the Seven of Clubs, I discarded that by matching it with Satsuko's Seven of Spades earlier. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be discerned from that sloppy pile. So that means... Mion pocketed one of the discarded cards, then aligned it over with the left card, and that means... 
I see. I get it. This left card is being disguised as seven of clubs, right? It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across Mian's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, with a grand flourish, I declared, I declared it loudly. <laughs> the Joker is... The last one! It was an intense moment. That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first one to speak was Mion. Being the first president of this club, I've been witness to a variety of performances. By the way, if Mion was good enough at sleight of hand, she could flip the seven of clubs to the bottom again and show him that and say no. <laughs> but nah, I was too honest. Okay, Chan. Yours is the best. The best of the best of the best. <laughs> that was probably the greatest compliment Mion can give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping the cards from both hands. My comeback victory! That made me jump. Jesus Christ. Rika Chan placed her hand on my head and began petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Huh? Rika Chan is. Rena and Satsuko gaped at us, as if they had seen a ghost. What is it, Rena? It's not as a it's not as if I had cheated or anything, right? That was fair and square. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, now it's happy thing. Rico only pets someone on the head to console them. Huh? What's the meaning of at that moment, Rena let out a small shriek? Fucking stabs him. <laughs> Cage gun. This is how it was. No, Cage I thought you'd read into it that far. <laughs> That's why they never started all you. Bitch. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was a gamble. If you had just jumped to conclusions like a little brat, then I would have loved. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked up the card from the losing hand. Hey, Chan, you know you should take pride in this love. He was just all like up and mighty about himself for nothing. She turned it around. That was the card that pro proclaimed the victory in of this duel card under the seven of clubs. Unbelievable, it was the two of diamonds. It, it was a setup before the set, behind the setup. If I just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. I'm Mion Sonazaki as club president. Do accept. Page is Page Mad Membership into this club. In our club. As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everyone let out, let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave, despite my defeat. Match is now over. Today's victor is me. <laughs> Mion Sonizaki. Is me. As our exalted loser is <laughs> Keiichi Maybara. He's a little bit. Meat. <laughs> meat. <laughs> Everyone made a commotion. A body tearfully. <laughs> I felt I was bested. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> but I was so soundly beaten that it unexpectedly felt rather ref refreshing. You know. What? I like being beat to a pulp. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's a whole nother that's a whole nother situation there. Oh boy. When Mijian pulled out that little trick behind her back, I got excited thinking she's going to do it again. When Keiichi san stopped the moment before touching the correct card, I thought he fell for it. So what? They they already knew what she was going to do, and they just kind of played along with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he fell for it quite handily. He's a little idiot. <laughs> You're a moron! 
<laughs> hey, wait. Imagine a fucking like second grader coming up to you and just yelling in your face. You're a moron. <laughs> All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly? No, they're all just cold-hearted bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone got excited to make it more fun. You... You're all demons, you monsters! You cold-hearted motherfucker! <laughs> now then, K-chan, it's time for your penalty. A giant... Right Kicking permanent marker on your face. <laughs> Since it's your first day participating, I'll go easy, okay? It would be a problem if you refused to come to school. The other, th <clears throat> the other three members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. Oh god. No. <laughs> Mion approached, licking her lips. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felt tip marker, and it's a giant permanent one. Okay, here we go. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly up to my face while I was immobilized. No, no, no! I let out my death throes. Rena killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Title card no. one. Oh, okay. I was like, that was like a chapter? I don't think so. Damn. Short chapter. Is it? That was like a really short chapter. We started at like 6.30 on this one. No, it's not that's over. That's not chapter. Yeah, I was about to say. That's <laughs> a, that's, that's that, was, that was short. That was short. Chapter. Is it? And back home. She flew off. She grew wings, guys. <laughs> Flailing her arms. As soon as the club activities were finished, Rena flew off. Probably so she could dig out that cute Colonel Randy's or Sanders <laughs> that she wasn't able to take home yesterday. So is today, it, huh? Isn't freaking KH supposed to be helping her? Yeah, I thought he said he would for the picnic stuff. He lied. <laughs> yeah, he abandoned her. So today, it was just me on and me walking home together. A rather rare occurrence. <laughs> a mountain of treasure, huh? Guys, throwing it away probably never thought in their wildest dreams that Rena would be grateful. Mountain of treasure, meaning that that damn construction site before. Oh, right. Mion would probably tell me. That murder by dismemberment that seemed to have happened here. Over now, the... We don't talk about it much, but oh. Rena totally killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, you know, at that the dam construction site. Did something happen there? Long ago? Four fucking years. <laughs> A grand battle. Something, something sure did. A grand battle. Between Rena and some random guy, and she chopped them in 15 pieces. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> hey, editor, zoom in on Mion's nose. <laughs> There were sit-ins and demonstrations. It was a bit different from what I wanted to hear, but I decided I'd listen just the same. I meant the murder that Brenna committed, you idiot! <laughs> it was our land that was going to be sunk into the dam reservoir. I would have fought as well, probably. Government guys were really adamant about it. Acting all big and full of themselves. There, but they were no match for my DJing. Yeah. Since they figured I out killed that they them with my DJ and money, they did a bunch of nasty stuff. What kind of nasty stuff? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were nasty guys. Mion spoke excitedly, 
Does that yeah, is that ex excited me. excited expression? I was about to say excitedly because you know Mion's happenings earlier in the freaking. She doesn't look that way, as if the whole thing was happening happening right in front of her. I'm amazed you guys won. You were facing the federal government, right? As opposed to the non-federal one. <laughs> The mayor and prominent figures in the village all signed petitions. And that did jack shit, so we just <laughs> killed the leader. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Tokyo and struck deals with the legislators after killing their leader. <laughs> there you go. And as a result, the development plan was retracted. It was our complete victory. Unlike you, today, at club, you suck. Yeah, you still have permanent marker all over your face. <laughs> <laughs> there weren't any... There wasn't any violence, was there? Like, assaults? Rinna did kill a guy. Yeah. Like, assaults or murders? No. Nah. Uh, okay. Like killing my guy. That, that was a different occurrence, though. She promptly cut me off. The same as Rena had. Her words. Mm. Oh, um, her words signaled the end of the, the end of discussion. tomataki san said, "One arm wasn't found in the incident. I thought that a murder by dismemberment had occurred, but I guess I was wrong." My curiosity unsated. I sighed dejectedly inside. Later. See you tomorrow. They're hiding something. I don't think Meon is hiding much. Because the music well, didn't, you know, yeah, just fucking really cut off. I feel like Meon's hey, good. Man. You can't wash that off you until you get home. Got it? I got it. I won't. Meon held back her laughter while stealing glances at my face. I wonder what kind of nasty doodles they drew. Oh god, please <laughs> don't make me speak <laughs> as fucking <I can> ferrets. <laughs> Damn you, Mion. You shall rue this day. It's your fault, you lost. <laughs> if our roles are. Tired. Yeah, they add the cards and whatnot, the markings. If our roles are reversed, I'm, go I'm going to go all out. All over your face, so you won't be able to take it off, even with a scurly, scurrying pad. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a wait, second. Wait, what? Is that it? Is this chapter? He's gonna go, he's gonna go all out all over her face, apparently. Um, okay. <laughs> Is that, nope. Oh boy. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Upon arriving home, I ran straight into my mom, embarrassing myself, embarrassing myself yet again. The mood I'd come home to is already on edge. It's not an uncommon thing in our family. Whenever Dad can't come up with a good idea, it always ends up like this. He stomps around the house with his arm arms crossed. Mom whispered into my ear. <laughs> Where? <laughs> uh, I gotta figure out the voice again. Welcome home, Katie! Dead, Welcome! Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Welcome home, Keiichi! <laughs> Dad, he's in a bit of a rut right now, so don't bother him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with it. You can't come up with a new idea? It's because the deadlines are so close to get time. Your dad needs his time to read it doesn't work as well. <laughs> I can't. Dad's paintings feed our entire family. If he runs out of ideas, then it's the end of the Maribaras. We've never gone hungry before. Could it be that my dad is a master painter? Wouldn't it be easier to get an idea take a walk, taking a walk outside rather than wandering around in the house? Shut your mouth, you little insolent bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the theme of the peace time is in the household. Voice is dying. <laughs> you better so have water. 
wants to use this house as a motif. Motif? Where the fuck's my tea? <laughs> That's quite a bothersome motif. Motif. I think. Keiichi's dad. Oh boy. Uh, um, Keiichi? Uh, okay, uh, it was southern though. Okay, uh, southern, 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 southern. Keiichi, tidy your room. Out of your room for once in a while. It looks terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I'll clean it up later. Ah, right, come on. Please don't use my room as, as the motif. 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 Keiichi, there's still some time before dead. <laughs> I can't stay on these stupid parent voices. Um, yeah, I just love doing them. <laughs> <laughs> So please go take a walk out back or something. <laughs> Dad's moods are only temporary. As soon as he gets an idea, his mood improves and he starts humming. Until then, it wouldn't be a bad idea just to go take a walk so I don't aggravate him further. Well, I guess I will then. I'm gonna have to do the freaking pitch scale every time I have to do the <laughs> dad's voice because I keep forgetting how to do it. <laughs> I said I was going to take a walk, but I didn't have any particular destination in mind. I just needed to kill some time. You know, maybe I'm gonna go help Renichan like I said I would yesterday. Yeah. I got on my just bike. And... Huh? I said just maybe. <laughs> I got on my bike and pondered where to go. I could just go read at the bookstore, but it would take about an hour by bike to get to town. It would be dark by the time I got back, so I didn't want to go unless I had to. The roads here at Hinamizawa creep me out. If Mion or Satsuko ever found out about that, I smiled wearily. Oh yeah, Rena was probably still at the Mountain of Treasure, the damn construction site. I did promise to help her and then abandon her like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the excavation of <laughs> Colonel Randy was probably taking her a while. It wouldn't be so bad to have her owe me one. What? You're the, what? The whole, what? <laughs> The whole point of you helping even. her is because she helped you. <laughs> yeah, she fed you like a big brick, or not a breakfast, but a lunch. She fed you a picnic, and it's just to get even. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna owe him one now. Oh, great, now he's still hanging on to that. She might return the favor next time we have club, club activities. With a little bit of self-interest in mind, I set off towards the da damn construction site. Are we missing something here? <laughs> like, does Keiichi suddenly have short-term memory loss? Yeah, really. Tomitake Sam might be there as well. The only person with inf information about the incident that both Rena and Mion denied knowing anything about. Rena, or not Rena, but Mion didn't really do what is harsh. No, Rena, 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 Rena was like straight up denial. Maybe it was like her brother that got murdered. I don't know if she has a brother. Maybe we're, we don't know that yeah. yet. We maybe maybe we, we were just being too mean and it was like a really good friend of hers that got absolutely eviscerated. Oh boy. Alright, um, if I met him again, I'd like to ask for more details. To ask, was there really a dismemberment here in Hinamizawa? That was my real intention. I wonder if that funeral is connected. I don't know. Let's have a funeral for a guy four years later. Yeah. That's an oh, interesting place to walk. Biking on that bridge. Biking on that bridge does not seem like. Oh, fun. okay. Imagine just falling to the side, slipping through the edge. Does he still have his bike? <laughs> I guess. Right up! He's <laughs> <laughs> just freaking mount. He just starts doing BMX tricks. <laughs> I spotted Rena struggling up on the slope of the garbage pile. As I was doing a backflip across the ramp. He just dies and impales himself. <laughs> <laughs> Rena's like, my master plan. <laughs> it looked like Colonel Randy was watching there pretty firmly. It didn't look like Rena would be able to excavate him by himself. Realizing well, that, huh? He, he promised to help her. Yeah. Huh. Realizing, that Tommy, <laughs> realizing that Tommy, realizing that Tommy Taki-san wasn't around, I began 
climbing down the slope unsteadily. Hey, Rena. Looks like you're working up a sweat. You promised to help me, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, Gagekin. What brings you to a place like this? Oh, you know, did you just completely forget that he promised you to come help? <laughs> a place like this, huh? I see. She was aware of it, at least. I received a signal for emergency assistance at the accident site. Where is the injured party? Huh? Huh? Accident? Huh? But there was a port. I didn't murder someone, I mean what? Where did he I was hiding the arm! I mean, what? <laughs> what did they tell you? <laughs> <laughs> but there was a report, report of Colonel Randy was buried alive in this trash pile. Huh? Oh, that. You scared me. I, I thought you knew I murdered a guy! <laughs> <laughs> Don't frighten me like that, Cage. Good. I was just kidding. I almost had to kill you! <laughs> I thought you might be struggling by yourself, so I came by- I came- so I came to help you out. Not- oh, Whoops. I did the same thing. Not because <laughs> I promised to do anything. Uh, you came for me? Oh, he came for- Oh, oh no, stop! <laughs> How? <laughs> well, I feel- I filled my quota for today. If I didn't see Rena blush at least once a day, then I'm not getting my daily required nutritional intake. Oh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, you're embarrassing me now. So, huh? What part was the joke? What part is it? I just ignored her bewilderment. Okay, now move out of the way. So where is Colonel Randy? Weren't you- weren't you just looking at it earlier? The, the, the night where what? they all came to the junkyard, did that all just not happen? Yeah, really? The fact <laughs> that he met that photographer. Everything else just didn't happen, apparently. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Can't, can't, can't you see him in that gap? He's really bur buried in there. You know, that memory gap you're having and so is everyone else. <laughs> the Colonel Randy was sideways, surrounded by boards and other construction materials. Like they were caging him aside. According to Renna, it wasn't like this yesterday. It seems as if another illegal dumper came yesterday, dumping again, and now he's buried like this. Or oh, there's an arm inside of him. Yeah. You're trying to move this pile all by yourself? With those scrawny arms? There's no way she would be able to do that with her slender arms. I can lift 50,000 pounds at once, you bitch! <laughs> with one pinky! <laughs> 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 but Colonel Randy, so cute. There's a chain on the Colonel Randy at the store. This one, though, I should be able to take this one home. How? If Rena gave up on this Colonel Randy, she'll probably start devising a plan to steal the one at the, in front of the store. As Rena's guardian, I won't allow her to sully her, to sully her hands with crime. Uh, well, too late for that, buddy. <laughs> 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 Out of the way, I'll do it. Rena blushed again, but this time I left it alone. The pile was enormous. Also, Katie, I gotta tell you about something. I I murdered a guy. <laughs> also, it inside that. That's why I want it so bad. It's like cute at all. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> also, the more days we wasted, the more likely another illegal dumping would occur. If it got buried in the deeper, there would be nothing that could be done. I need my arm! <laughs> Keiji, I'll help too. Let me help. You just get in the way, so to stay back. <laughs> She's a robotic murderer. Pulling out scraps, bending them, tossing them aside. I quickly became covered in sweat and dust. Hey, that sounds like a familiar noise. Oh god. Flying objects through beautiful arcs across the twilight scar sky, one after another. Uh, lumber, timber, plywood. Damn it! No matter how much I threw out, there was still more. Even though I could see Colonel Randy right there. After a grin standing like that in front of Renna, I felt frantic because of how little I had progressed. If I was going to do this seriously, I need an axe or saw or something. I got an axe right here! Ignore the plot! <laughs> Ignore the 
the butt. <laughs> That's enough, Katie, hun. You're so sweaty. You don't have to try so hard. I'm just doing it for you, Rena. Don't worry about it. Poof again. We again begin yeah. sputtering and turning beet red. Overheating. Ah. <laughs> Overheating. <laughs> Ah, whoops, I meant to say I was trying my best so as to keep her from becoming a criminal. Oh well. Processors overloading. Circuits Shutting frying. down. Oh, instant <laughs> sunset. Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just need a break. Okay. <laughs> Rebooting. Initializing cooling system. <laughs> Wait, that out. I didn't kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> I sprawled on my on my back over the grassy slope. I'm so sorry. Covered <laughs> <laughs> in sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Renna patted her handkerchief against my forehead. It felt pretty nice. Um. Well, wait here a minute, okay? God, I'm dying. My house is pretty close. I'll bring you some. Bar is that's barley tea, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Leaving the handkerchief for my. <laughs> my throat hurts so much. Drink something. I've been drinking something. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving the handkerchief on my forehead, Rana took off running. Uh, apple juice. <laughs> the cries of Higurashi gently cooled the air. After Fuck I was is a Higurashi. It's a. It's Japanese for cicada. This is cicada earlier. Huh? This is cicada I earlier. I know, it just mixes them up for some reason because it's in the title. After I was certain that Renna was gone, I picked myself up and headed towards what I discovered earlier. Arm. Uh oh. It's quiet. Oh, wait, it might actually be an arm. That was a garbage wait, pile of magazines and newspapers bound up in twine. Unless it, I'm mistaken, I believe it was around here. There Music it was. actually stopped. <laughs> oh boy. There were bound stacks of not so reputable tabloids. They were stacked chronologically, going back quite a few years. It was quite a disturbing incident. They still haven't found one of the arms. If it was just as Tomitake sent, said, then undoubtedly there would be mention of the murder. These are troubled times. There is no end to these sick sickening incidents. What? Murders? Eh. There's a large part of society drawn in by these incidents as well. So it had to be recorded. Somewhere. I unfastened the packages and opened the rain soaked pack pages carefully, looking over the table of contents. Not here. Next one. Not here. Next one. It was hard to search since I didn't know when it happened. I didn't know who the perpetrator of the vi or the victim was either. I only, Renna and her, the <laughs> <some dude. laughs> I only knew it had happened here. I looked up every so often, checking if Renna had come back or not. You bitch! You <laughs> found out! <laughs> I wouldn't want her to see me gawking at, at a dirty magazine, but it wasn't just that. Both Rena and Mion said they didn't know. But it had happened, without a doubt. As long as Tomitake-san wasn't lying. Then if both Rena and Mion... Ah, yeah, there was. If they had just said that, then I wouldn't have gotten so hung up on it. An incident that neither Rena or Mion wished to talk about. Trying to Back! I brought my axe! <laughs> Trying to uncover it after they con after they tried to conceal it out of good good intentions, that made me feel like I was acting against my friends. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Hinamizawa damn wor worker lynching, murder by dismemberment. Here it is. The oh, featured yeah, article. Actually, fucking excited God. about this. Why? Jesus 
Christ. <laughs> that piano, though, was unsettling, too. The featured article Just was... Just in, in the background playing a piano. <laughs> it's like one in the junkyard. It's so off-tune, it's unreal. <laughs> the featured article was in the back, and it seemed that there was a photograph in the colored pages at the front. The pages of the featured article were stuck together and weren't easy to open. Renna could return at any moment. Feeling rushed, I gave up and opened the photograph page. The police investigators were carrying a body bag, and newspaper reporters were all bathed, bathing, in, bathing it in camera flashes. The image was blurry and hard to understand, but I could definitely make out the headlines. A tragic nightmare at the Hin Hinamizawa construction site. Lynching and murder. Slash dismemberment. The victim was a site foreman. He had assaulted his assailants daily with an explosive backlash from his daily actions. It's a horrible image to see the siteman foreman as it happened. It really did happen. It seemed the details were on the next page. I turned the page without pausing. What? <gasps> what? Are you stupid? <laughs> like, are you mentally ill? This is- this is how you die. Oh. This is how you die! Oh, I didn't read it. Then the you- Pickaxes and axes. The silence butchered yep. the victim's body with hatchets and pickaxes. Then used an axe to split the cabot- cabiter into six pieces. The head, arms, legs, and torso. I think it's Yikes. the cadaver. Cadaver. Something. I can understand. Daver. Cadaver. Whatever. I, I don't know. I could understand just from the headline that it was too just too terrible an incident. Normally, a lynching is just an assault and murder, right? Dismemberment with hatchets and pickaxes? That wasn't a lynching. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> it was a merciless killing to the to the letter, a brutal murder done by a group of people. Cool. With hatchets, with cool. pickaxes. Cool. <laughs> cool. With a hatchet. Oh, oh hi. Oh, that was running. Ah! With a that was running with a hatchet. Damn. Oh. Damn it! Sorry. <laughs> was that not running with a hatchet? I think it was. Did I startle you? Did I startle you? Rena dropped the hatchet she was holding into. What? Yes, she has a hatchet. <laughs> oh no, she went to go get it to help Keiichi though. Yeah. She has a reason. But has it a was reason. Ah. She was holding onto the grass after being startled by my voice. Cage Kun, you see, earlier, yeah, you said it would be helpful you had an axe or something, didn't you? So, so then I brought a hatchet for you from the shed. Rena fluttered her arms in panic, continuing to explain and apologize. It seemed I've been glaring at her pretty intensely. You, I swear, I mean, I, I, I wasn't what? watching you read the paper. Why are you reading that? <laughs> I didn't do it. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess my reaction was a little was a bit overboard. No, I'm sorry as well. I'm sorry. Night was drawing close. I was pretty worn out, and it wouldn't hurt to do the rest tomorrow. Doesn't look like we can break that last beam without that hatchet. You brought it after all. I'll have to borrow it tomorrow, alright? So what? You, you just walked all the tomorrow? way back there with a hatchet? Gonna... <laughs> you know. Okay. Why do you look so glum? Tomorrow we'll be digging out Colonel Randy, right? Well, isn't there an illegal dumper that's gonna come by and just bury it even more? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I really want to take Colonel ha Randy home soon. I almost said Sanders yeah, again. We both knew that it was useless to apologize any more than that. I quenched my thirst with the barely tea. Barley tea. Barely. Yeah, just barely. Barely. Any, barely any tea. With the barley tea Rena brought and wiped off the sweat that the now gone cold. That that, that had now gone cold. We took the path to head home. I felt quite guilty about the tabloid wrapped up in my jacket.
That might be the oh, end of this chapter. Oh. oh. I'm gonna stop now. Huh? I don't wanna stop! <laughs> Getting too suspenseful! <laughs> Ooh, tips, 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 tips! tips, tips. Okay, um, tips time. Save. We'll save after the tips. Yep. The first chapter was huge. The Hinomizawa Dam project. That one first. We're back in the classroom. October nope. 1975. In accordance with the Prime Minister's bulletin number, I, I'm not going to say the X's because it's just kind of pointless. Hinamizawa's electrical de development master plan was announced. 420. The vast scope of the projected Hinamizawa Dam was to have an incredibly heavy, heavy impact on the village of Hinamizawa. The area to be flooded by the Hino Hinamizawa Dam would include five areas of Hinamizawa, Takats Takatsudo, I guess, Kiyotsu, Matsumoto, and Yagochi. The submerged area would include 293 house houses, population 1,251, one uh -huh. elementary school, one middle school, one post office, one agricultural co cooperative, one forestry department, lumber yard, five shrines, two temples, and one fishery. All of these communal, that's communal, yeah, cultural agricultural areas and places of worship were to be indefinitely submerged at the bottom of the artificial lake basin. Forsaking the hundred of years our an ancestors poured their blood and sweat into this fertile, resource-rich resource land was just too painful to bear. Where did my mouse go? There it is. All the residents having homes that were to be submerged banded together and created the Onigafuchi Defense Alliance. The dam project was halted and petitions to alter the plan were circulated. The citizens sought peaceful negotiations, but the government and its puppet company, Blank, openly refused. I mean, the, does that fit? B L A N K. Yep, Blank. <laughs> <laughs> Performing unspeakable, heinous acts, they they quashed the democratic actions of the villagers. But the villagers did not falter. Instead, they banded together even more closely and steeled the resolve to protect their homes to the death. The continuation of that frightened Hinamizawa dam construction project is still stalled as of today. The villagers understand that the stalling was caused by, this, by sublime power through, the un through unity. And they understand that this fearsome plan has not been fully withdrawn. The Onigafuchi Defense Alliance has been dissolved after it did its part, but the feelings of unity, but the feelings of unity it garnered have not yet been dis extinguished. As long as that passion resides in the hearts of the residents, they'll be able to confront whomever next decides to sink their homes into a lake basin. Onigafuchi Defense Alliance Committee Chairman uh, Kichiro Kimiyoshi Yoshi! Yoshi! Yoshi runs it, confirmed. Special tabloid right. report. Oh boy. Oh boy. Be about the murder. And not some stupid school thing. Yay! Ah! Nightmare befa befalls the Hinamisawa Dam. Winching and murder slash so dismemberment. On blank day of blank months in blank prefecture, I think, maybe. At the Hinamisawa Dam construction work site in Shishibon City, a, chi a bone chilling, gruesome murder slash so dismemberment. Even though this case has shocked the archipelago, the police will give no details on the case. Exactly what happened at the Hina Hinamisawa Dam. They probably didn't little, mean to kill him at first. Hair, kill him, dude. <laughs> they probably didn't mean to kill him at first, but as the victim resisted by swinging around a shovel, the rest of the perpetrators armed themselves in return and quickly escalated the homicide. And they didn't mean to kill him, but they just freaking ripped him to pieces. <laughs> so said the aforementioned Investigator A. After this bloody tra tra tragedy was over, they were left with a body which nobody could have mistaken as alive. X San. Oh, only two words? Two letters? Huh. 
Exan had tormented the suspects daily with his rough behavior. So it was a dude. Cause Misan? Uh, nah. Misan's three. Oh, yeah. I know, this is a dude though. At first it was meant to be payback. All the perpetrators were hor horrified by their deed. And one even turned himself into the police. It was the de facto leader of this group. X. X. I said I wasn't going to say it, but I'm saying it anyway. Who suggested hiding the body. Reluctantly at first, they soon began to think that they did not wish to be caught. The construction site had no numerous places to hide the body with six people. They were originally supposed to hide the body and leave the area. But the facto leader feared that the, con the coincidences... Wait. The consciousness of the five other... Of other five, wouldn't be able to bear the burden. He came up with a horrifying method to keep them from turning him into the police. He devised a heinous method of splitting up the body among them and make them, making them hide each, making each of them responsible for hiding a piece. Blank had returned a manslaughter into a gruesome dismemberment and forcibly involved each perpetrator in order to create a sense of unity between them. Each one participated. But what does this mean? Person A spoke out reluctantly. Blank had ordered each and every one of them to dissect the piece for themselves. Yikes. Huh. They were hesitant at first, but nobody refused. And for a penny, and for a pound was what it meant. Thus, an unimaginable bloody ceremony began. The perpetrators oh. wept and vomited to that as they performed the gruesome task. There was one person who stubborn stubbornly refused, but Blank threatened them, saying nothing would change if someone else ended up dead. And get and he gave up hit in his objections. Well. But Blank's plan collapsed in the span of one night. Blank, who had refused to dissect the corpse until the last moment, had broken down in tears at the hospital where he was being treated for an injury sustained during the scuffle and confessed. The criminals were arrested one after the other, but the, the de facto later, Blank's whereabouts are still unknown. Also, the right arm hidden by Blank has yet to be found. Despite an ongoing search, this horrible individual has so far managed to elude law enforcement. What could the police be doing? It appears that Blank had said he was going to throw the body, right arm, into the marsh. Blank's car was discovered abandoned near the marsh, but there was no clues to his whereabouts. Blank didn't trust his companions. One cannot deny the possibility that he expected his companions to confess to the, comp to the police and use his car as a decoy. Of course, I doubt that theory. Since he has no car, no one would expect- one would expect him to have a limited area to which he could have escaped to. But within the station, there were rumors going around that he had accidentally slipped and drowned in the marsh where he went to throw away the body. To the locals, that marsh is believed to be bottomless. It's known as the Onigafuchi, the Ogre's Abyss. And it's said that the bottom of the marsh is connected to the hellish world of demons. The atrocious demon from hell that was X. Could it be that he had returned to hell through the marsh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Prosperous future, ladies deeping into your arms. Business success. Promotions. Ambition. Protection from harm. <laughs> Not just with pachinko and horse races, but with business and even love. Guaranteed or your fuck? money back. <laughs> into a dragon bracelet DX one piece. One beat. Twenty seven. Uh, uh, that was neat. How again? That's like I'm pretty sure a yen is a cent, so that's like two hundred and something dollars. All right, um, that's the end of this chapter, so we're gonna save it. That was an interesting end to the freaking tip. <laughs> they're, tr they're constantly trying to hide the spook. You want to keep going, or do you want to call it here? Uh, I gotta like get more drink, but I can keep going. Alright, I have water right here, I just need to drink some, because I didn't really get a chance with all that tip reading and whatnot. Alright, um, that's the end of episode three. So, chapter four is coming next. 
things are getting quite interesting. <laughs>